Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony for Anthony's Customs, and now we're going to talk about the Flash. So The Flash has been one of my favorite shows ever since it came out. I wasn't particularly connected to The Flash before, and I was pretty skeptical about it when they first cast Grant Gustin. Uh, that's his name, right? I think it is. Anyway, I was a little skeptical at first, but once it came out, the way they're handling it was really impressive, and I really like the way they're going, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a video series talking about it like I've been doing for The Walking Dead, because it's not technically as deep a story as The Walking Dead, or at least that's what they would want you to think. Uh, but it's it's getting so good, I can't not talk about it anymore, and I think a lot of you guys are going to want to talk about it also. So I thought we would do it. So we're going to start Season 2, Episode 6, kind of an odd point to jump in, but that's what we're going to do. And so I'm going to do a quick kind of talk about what we've seen so far in the series, just in general. And then I want to talk about this episode a little bit and what I think about going forward. And I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about anything related to the show, really, but in particular, this episode. Uh, which was particularly incredibly good, I think. Uh, really, really good. So, the first season mostly focused on uh, Wells and him being a bad guy. The Reverse Flash, which they handled so well. It was so cool the way they did the Reverse Flash. He was just such an imposing bad guy. Totally badass, really cool, evil, just really dark and very cool the way they handled it. Which I, I really liked, obviously. I think for these superhero shows, the best thing they can do is have a good villain. Uh, pretty much any movies, any series really, anything at all, if you're going to have good guys and bad guys, you need a good villain. And that's really what makes the show. And I think, I mean, everything in The Flash is done really well, but the villains are making it, I, I think. That's my take on it. So it was all about uh, the reverse Flash, and they kind of wrapped that up. And the, the show was still getting its traction, obviously. It was the first season, so they had to figure out some things and go through some changes and things. So by the second season now... I think they've really got their formula figured out just about perfectly. Uh, they got rid of Eddie Thawne, which I didn't really care for his character personally, so I didn't mind them getting rid of him at all, and now they've replaced his character with a new love interest for The Flash, for Barry, which I think is a good thing. Uh, the whole Iris thing, I think they played that out a little bit, so I'm glad they went away from that, and now he's got the new love interest, and everybody's, everybody's happy, generally speaking, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and now the main villain, uh, obviously we have villains every episode that are, you know, they're a little different, but the overarching, overarching villain is Zoom, which is, uh, alternate timeline or alternate earth, uh, basically another bad flash, which is done particularly well. I mean, so far prior to this episode, we haven't seen a whole lot of him, just little bits here and there. He's in an all black suit with this almost demonic looking ghostly face. It's just really cool looking. And then the guy they have voicing him, I can never remember his name. It's the guy that did Candyman years ago. Uh, he's not credited for it, but you can look it up and see that that's who it is or just recognize it. But anyway, the voice is super gravelly and just really, really dark and just cool. And he's got this whitish blue lightning always arcing around him when he's using the speed force. So just about as badass a bad guy as you can have for The Flash. It's so nice. And they're handling it really well. They finally brought him into this episode in a significant way. So having um, having the... Uh, I can never remember names once I start doing videos. Barry's one girlfriend who works at the newspaper with Iris. Whatever her name is. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, having her alternate universe person with the superpowers involved and that whole thing is really cool and that started off the episode with some it was a nice episode they had the whole comedic scene where they're teaching her how to use the the palm shooter thingies dr light that's her name okay so she's pretending to be dr light yeah uh and, and that was an entertaining part of the show i mean good special effects she was entertaining everybody around her was entertaining it was good and also uh i want to slip this in there the new professor wells the one from the alternate timeline or Dr. Wells, he's doing a great job. I mean, it's the same guy, Tom Cavanaugh, but he's doing a really good job playing this different character, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, so going back to it, the first half of the episode was all about basically Dr. Light, or... Is it Dr... I don't know, I keep getting the names messed up. Guys, I'm working on almost no sleep again, so I apologize. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, so they have this plan to catch Zoom, to get him to come across and to catch him. It doesn't work out, and then he comes in... And just whoops all kind of ass. He's just doing a really good job of being a bad guy. And the special effects and the scenes, the way they're laid out and choreographed and everything, 
very, very cool. Uh, the fight against Barry, when he broke his back and just, he totally beat the crap out of Barry. When Barry threw the lightning at him and he caught it and threw it back, it was just, it was like we were watching a full feature film. It was so good. The quality of it was awesome. I'd like to know what you guys think about this too, by the way, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not biased, but I thought this was particularly well done. Anyway, so he does a whole lot of bad stuff in a very short amount of time, but it's very intense, uh, very, very dark, and just really well written, well acted, well handled episode. And then by the end, we find out that Barry is paralyzed and Professor, Professor Zoom, just Zoom, uh, Zoom is still out and about doing stuff. So it's going to be a really interesting story arc with Barry being paralyzed for now, and then we know Grodd's going to be back in the next episode, so that's going to be really cool. And then the new Wells' daughter is being held captive by Zoom, and just so much going on, and it's all in a good direction, I think. There's nothing about this episode, or this season, or this, well, earlier in this series, I didn't care for a couple characters, but now everything is just the way I would want it, personally, so I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, and Cisco's as funny as ever. I love that character. He's doing a great job. Just everything about this, for me, is exactly what these superhero shows need to be about. Everything about it. Now, I do I do generally like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I don't think it's on par with Flash. And I think Arrow has taken a big dip lately, so I don't think it's on par either. Right now, I think Flash is way up there. Definitely at the top with a large margin between the rest. Uh, Supergirl, I don't know if I'm going to do a series talking about that, but I'll mention quickly, I do like Supergirl, the show, um... I have to let it get some steam going first before I actually judge it, but I'm pretty pleased with it. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. But with Flash, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I know I've spoiled just about everything at this point, but it's a discussion, so that's going to happen. But yeah, definitely love this episode. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know what you thought about that. And if you want me to keep talking about The Flash, even though I'm probably going to anyway, let me know if you think that's a good idea. And if you want me to talk about Arrow and Supergirl, what the heck. I could talk about every superhero show that's on TV Every week, if you guys want to, why not? I'm in for it if you are. So let me know what you think about all that, and I look forward to reading the comments. And uh, make sure you come back next week so we can talk about The Flash some more. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.